Hey guys, Larry from the Oregon Coast. It's April 13th and uh, it's time to start the second season of the Strawberry Hydrophonics. Alright, last year I had a lot of questions about my setup so uh, I'm going to start from the beginning. Basically I got my uh, a 10 gallon water reservoir, just a tote. I have a pump. The water pumps up that uh, half inch tubing to the top. Funnels down. It's 4 inch PVC. I have 4 inch uh, black PVC 90s, basically what you use for, uh, for septic lines. And the second tower, and I believe they're right around 5 feet, comes down and drains into the reservoir. I'm using an Eco Plus uh, 264 pump. Uh, the head height is 6.3, and obviously the gallons per hour is 264. But anyways, the um, important thing that you need to remember is all these pumps, or a lot of these pumps look the same. You want to make sure you got the right uh, head height there. So right now I'm about five foot and I'm a foot and a half higher with this pump for head. So that is important. You want to make sure your head height is right. Now I put on these uh, clean outs, basically the guys using for the septic lines and uh, under your houses for blockage, but uh, um, I think they're a really good idea, especially for cleaning out the system at the beginning of the year. I want to take a look. There's the pipe there. I just run a uh, garden hose, and just shoot her down with some water to rinse her out every once in a while. But uh, if you're going to use these clean outs, make sure you put uh, Teflon tape because they will leak. All right, I got the pump on, and I uh, just want to see what it looks like inside from the clean out there. Basically, you're going to have about a half inch three quarters of an inch of water when you first get going. Um, once the roots start growing, it'll actually slow it down and it'll raise the water water up. Um, at the end of last season, I had the water about half, half full of this pipe. The roots are just so thick. Right now, uh, this is a view from the middle pipe there. You can see how low that water is. Um, basically, it's NFT right now. So just a thin layer of a or film of wire, uh, water they call it there. So. Alright, I took the lid off, or kept the lid off the um, reservoir. Just kind of want to uh, show you what it looks like there. So that is, there's a drain. It's draining really good. Um, you probably, for the first time you build one of these, you want to run it for a full day. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Um, you want to avoid running your reservoir out of water. You want to burn your pump up. And uh, also you don't want to waste your hydroponic nutrients. All right, here's another view of one of my uh, strawberry plants. and see it's already getting a fruit bound, so I'm gonna rinse these out, soak them in some water real gently, and uh, try not to hurt the roots here. All right, here's a quick view of my uh, strawberries. This year I'll be growing, oh, seascape. <laughs> I can't walk and talk and film at the same time. Uh, seascape strawberries, they're everbearing, and for the area I'm in, I'm on the Oregon coast, uh, they do really well, so I'm gonna try these in a, the hydroponic tower there. I picked these up around uh, Valentine's Day uh, about a month or two ago. They're in six packs. I think they're like a dollar fifty a six pack and I picked up three of them and uh, as soon as I got them home I transplanted them a little bit bigger containers trying to get a little bit bigger uh, root growth going on them and uh, I'm gonna show you how I transplant them into the, the net cups. There's my net cups. All right, have this soaking for a few minutes here, and uh, you're not going to get everything. This is really, uh, really root bound, and uh, there's a lot of junk there in the middle that I'm not going to be able to get out. Um, I'm not too concerned concerned over it, but uh, I got most of the dirt out of there. I want to show you guys a little trick I uh, came up with last year and ended up working uh, really good. Um, basically. I have a net cup and I just knocked the hole out right here for the roots. And uh, cause last year, if you set these cups in the pipe, it's not going to reach the water length. So last year I had to build these little dams out of uh, like sour cream, uh, sour cream lids. And I just silicone those in and then uh, when, once the roots started growing, I just pulled that flap down and lowered the, uh, the water level. But uh, So basically you want to be careful and just... Uh, carefully push those roots down. Now these roots will touch the water so 
you don't need all the roots to hit the water as long as you have a few um, and I've had uh, sorry that doesn't make any sense as long as you have a few of the roots uh, touching the water there um, you're, you're gonna be in good shape so I'm gonna try to clean this out a little bit better and uh, get these going all right uh, this year I had some other hydroponic uh, project projects going on and I ended up using up uh, my hydrogen and uh, so I saw on the internet some people were using this lava rock and uh, I was at the hardware store today and I like and this, they had a big old stack uh, right in front of the store and it was like five bucks for or actually 450 for a 50 pound bag I'm like huh that's a heck of a lot cheaper than hydrogen and uh, for the hydrogen and a 50 pound bag you're looking right around 50 bucks uh, not counting shipping or whatever so hopefully uh, I think this stuff will work work out and uh, it's a heck of a lot cheaper so uh, we'll see how it goes but right now with the lava rock in got my roots down and uh, it's ready to set into uh, the strawberry tower I don't know if you can see it or not see that or not but the root the bottom parts of the roots are barely going to touch and uh, that's going to be enough to get this thing going and then uh, eventually this whole tube is going to be completely full of roots well the wind picked up so um, I'm going to finish up this video with a uh, slideshow here's a uh, close up of the, the top of my reservoir there and uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is uh, well one of the problems with, with going to for going with a four inch PVC round pipe is that uh, it, it's really hard to get uh, a tight seal with, with a, uh, a connector and the connector I was using was just a PVC uh, threaded adapter and those uh, designed for a flat surface so um, anytime you bump or move a, a drain pipe there um, it breaks the seal and it, I'll, I'll end up getting a little leak there so I drilled in, I drilled those holes there on top of the lid and uh, that way it'll kind of drain drain back into it. but um what I came up with is I'm going to use a uh, a three quarter inch flexible tubing and I'm um, so I'm probably pick one of those up this week so I'm gonna get rid of that PVC that I have you see they're going through the tote and then uh, hopefully that will keep uh, keep that from uh, leaking on me and I ran this uh, system all last summer and the only time I ever had a leak was uh, right here on this uh, connector there for the drain can't really see the connector but it's right above that pipe and uh, so I was pretty happy with it and the leak was just basically a slow drip nothing uh, I never ran out of water or anything like that so um, so, something to think about if you're going to do a project like this. This year, I'm be um, for the nutrient I'll be using is a, is a Maxi Grow 10514. Now on the back, um, it says for regular feeding, one uh, teaspoon per gallon of water. Okay, well last year I used a different uh, nutrient. And uh, this is important. Uh, with strawberries, you uh, you don't want to over fertilize. Last year I was running about third strength of the recommended do dosage. That seemed to be pretty good. Um, I think if you stay between the third and a half of the amount um, of the dose it says to use, um, you're going to be in good shape. Um, the problem is if you use too much, you're going to have a big, bushy, uh, good looking strawberry plant, but you're not going to have that many strawberries. That, you know, that's kind of the goal get some strawberries but um, for the first three days when I get the system going I'm not going to add any nutrient I'm just going to be running water um, there's going to be a little bit of junk there in the roots we're going to get cleaned out um, about three days I'll, uh, I'll dump the tote out um, rinse the pipe out again and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll add the add the water and uh, there's a 10 gallon tote and I'm going to add between about three to four teaspoons Starting off, I'll probably be between two and three. It's better to start off a uh, a little weak, especially with uh, with fragile uh, strawberry roots. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to answer some questions that I seem to be getting over and over from uh, my last year's video. So here we go. How long do I run the pump for, and do I use a timer? I run the pump 24/7, and I do not use a timer. Uh, the reason being, once the pump stops, all the water is going to be uh, going to completely drain out of the pipe so uh, if you're in the middle of summer or whatever um, roots going to dry out 
in the plant cell. It will die pretty quickly. That's one of the downfalls for, um, for using this NFT system. What size gallon reservoir am I using? I'm using a 10 gallon tote and that seems to be working pretty good. And uh, you also want to make sure that um, it's sunproof or whatever. Um, you don't want sun getting into your reservoir. Um, you have algae and uh, it's going to really slow down your production and uh, it's going to cause um, nothing but headaches. Make sure you use uh, no light, no light in the reservoir. Alright, what size net pots I'm using? I'm using 3 inch net pots, net cups. Um, it costs right around 50 cents. You can pick them up at your hydro, hydro store and make sure you have a lip in your net cup. And these seem to sit pretty well. And I use a 3 and 5 eighths inch hole saw. And I set the net pots approximately uh, 14 inches the center. You don't want any closer than that. Um, basically, what's going to happen is um, if the with this spacing here, by the end of the summer, the roots fill the pipe about halfway, and uh, so it raises the water quite a bit. So if you get the roots, if you get the plants too close together, your roots are going to completely fill up the pipe, and it's going to stop draining correctly. So your water's got nowhere to go except through the net pots. You're going to start over uh, over filling, spilling out. Um, you're going to run your pump dry, burn your pump out, kill your plants all in one shot. So, um, this is a pretty good, uh, it looks like you can squeeze more in there, but this is a really good spacing. I wouldn't go any closer than this right here. Alright, what's the size of this? It's approximately uh, 6 feet wide and about 5 feet to, to that top tower high. The reason why I went that size is because I had. Uh, this is the size of scrap uh, pipe I had. So uh, basically, what I use, you can go longer, you can go smaller. Eh, I probably wouldn't go too much smaller, but uh, that's the reason why I use it. These are uh, that's the size of scrap I had. All right. Another common question was, uh, how much did I uh, harvest last year? I have no idea. See that guy right there sitting there? <laughs> He's why I don't know. Uh, when I also worked the. Uh, I got three young youngsters, and uh, they pretty much picked those lower sections clean. And I got, I got that top pipe. So uh, I think we did pretty good, but I have no way to tell exactly uh, how many strawberries we got out here. So why did I do this? Well, basically, uh, you know, I was watching YouTube videos, saw something like this, and like, hey, that seemed pretty cool. And uh, you know, kids love strawberries. Uh, I built this with the kids. Uh, Help, I guess you could call it that, but uh, that's the reason why I did it. Kind of do something for the uh, for the kids. Seemed like a, and plus it's something I always want to do. Um, last year was my first year with hydroponics, so uh, well, and uh, it was a little intimidating at first. You know, they had to do PPM, uh, pH, and all that kind of stuff. And well, yeah, that's another question. Uh, what's what uh, PPMs do I do I run at? What pH? I have no idea on PPMs. So I don't have a PPM meter. I don't have a pH uh, meter. All I do is change the water out every two weeks and uh, work like a charm. So, all right, let's wrap this thing up. Um, I did my best to try to answer uh, the most common questions I had from my uh, from my video from last year. So, if uh, anybody has any further questions, uh, just drop a uh, comment there in the comment section. And if you click on that icon there in the lower right-hand corner on EasyGrowsIt.com, uh, it's Dale. He also has a YouTube, Easy Grows It, and uh, he's got some great uh, gardening tips and uh, YouTube tips. So if uh, you want to make your channel better, or you want to increase your views, um, click on that icon, and uh, Dale's a great guy, and uh, he'll get you pointed in the right direction. And uh, okay, so. I will do two more updates on the system. I'll do a midsummer midsummer one, and then I'll do uh, the end of summer uh, wrap up one. So, all right, guys, you take care. Have a good one.